Hello. I'd like to tell you a story. Our story begins... Have you put the bins out? I'm busy. Doing what? Reading this story. To who? The dog? No, my subscribers. <laughs> what subscribers? That hurt. <laughs> Our story begins just before Christmas with a lowly amateur woodworker. Our hero's journey began where all good stories begin. A garage, windswept and hammered on by the rain, made this audio unusable. But here our lowly hero struggles with a three pound board of pine he got from his timber reclamation yard, and then a 13 pound strip of oak to accent the project, which he was furious about. Our hero's weapons of choice were not swords and shields, but rather woodworking tools. Tools which names he did not know, or really how to wield. For armour he chose a full face visor which he could see nothing through, or a pair of safety goggles that didn't fit his face because of his giant nose. Still, our woodworker battled on, and used the mitre saw to chop his pine board in half. With the board cut in half, our hero chose to split this length straight down the middle, so that each cutting board would have one wide piece of pine in the middle, accented by an oak strip on each side, with a larger piece of pine down each end. Once his lengths were cut down, he used his thicknesser to mill them to the same depth as the oak trim he planned to accent his project with. It was at this point he was starting to panic. He realised it was Christmas Day in just three days, and this may require two glue-ups. Our bold hero had experienced failure throughout his woodworking career thus far, so was no longer afraid of it, so continued regardless anyway. Scholars may call this bravery, but most lay people will just call this naive stupidity. With the wind howling in and him unable to open his garage doors, he turned on his dust extraction. That's better. Happy with the thickness of each board, he decided to square off the edge using his table saw. He hated his table saw. His table saw hated him and quite often wanted to kill him. This is what you get for spending just £120 on a table saw from his supermarket middle aisle. Our hero has a lot to learn and has only just begun his journey. Happy with his success so far, our hero decided to glue up his cutting board. After his recent kind of success, with his other cutting board made from firewood, link in the description, he decided that there was no such thing as too much glue or too many clamps. So he used them all, everything, all of them. The next day, the foolish craftsman was feeling very confident. He had one giant charcuterie board, or cheese board, or cutting board, he hadn't decided what to call it yet. Now the idea was that he was going to cut this into three sections, each one being a perfectly square board. He was feeling confident because he'd made it just wide enough to fit through the thicknesser. So after passing it through many, many times to get all the boards matched up, he was happy and ready to move on to the next stage. The reason he was so happy was because he got to use his artefact that he won in the Battle of Black Friday. And by won, I mean spent money on. He used his new track saw to cut a square edge on the end of the main board. He used a square to make sure that the edge was square. Boy was he starting to feel like the most professional woodworker in all of the lands. After this he moved the track along and cut the main giant board 
into three smaller square boards, and he used the tape measure to make sure he was accurate. What a professional. What was not professional was letting those boards fall onto a concrete floor, not realising that they were made out of soft wood for the main part. He would regret this decision and be forced to fix that mistake. Okay, so I'm not crying, I've just got sawdust in my eye. I suppose it has been an emotional day, I've been Christmas shopping. Now, it was probably a mistake to not put anything soft under there because I managed to drop these and just let them fall off the side when I cut them and I've dinged the corner of one. I'm hoping it won't matter because I'm actually going to route around the edge of these and give them a bit of a bevel. He's a liar. At this point, he had no original plan to bevel the edges at all. He was going to leave them square. What a bull****. Despite living a lie, he carried on. And once playing around with the height of his 45 degree bevel, he went around and beveled every edge of the cutting board, making sure to start on the long grain, as this would provide a cleaner cut. Our hero had never really bevelled anything, but he'd heard lots of woodworkers talking about it. Once he'd completed this bevelling work, he realised why they spoke so highly of it. It makes it look professional. This was most confusing to the woodworker, and filled him with joy inside of his heart. The joy was soon taken over by the formidable beast that is relentless endless, mind-numbingly boring, sanding. Lots and lots and lots and more sanding. Despite his success and his efforts sanding and being so pleased with the project, he decided to be brave, read stupid and burn the edge of his project. He'd never burn anything other than pallets before and had no idea how the oak would react, but he continued anyway. What a fearless hero. He didn't want to burn the whole board, just the edges. He didn't know how this would look, so decided to try it on one board and if it looked great, he'd do it on the others. If it looked awful, he'd give this board to his least favourite relative. After gallantly continuing with his favourite weapon, the blowtorch, he was happy with how this turned out, so continued this process with the other three boards. The final stage in his journey, other than wrapping the presents, which he would get his fair lady to do, was applying some board butter. This was where our bold adventurer finally got to see what the boards would look like. He liberally coated each board with a mixture of mineral oil and beeswax, four to one ratio, and then left them overnight before he came and wiped the excess off. This will protect the boards and make sure that they are a little more food safe than they started out as. Love it. And so our story concludes with a happy hero living a happy ending with the best product that he has produced to date despite it being such a simple one. Now you the audience may choose to switch off now but if you'd like to hang around and see some tribulations and trials that our hero faced at the end of this video stick around. Good night. <laughs>